On today's Motorhead Garage, it's all about the bling. We take a late model SS Camaro from this to this. Motorhead Garage, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, you know, you guys, when you get a nice new car, like this Camaro, this is a 2011, and you open up the hood and you look inside, you can see the factory's done a little bit of work in here to try to make the engine compartment look a little bit more professional, a little bit nicer, but you know what? They don't do enough. And what we're going to do is we're gonna show you exactly how to make this thing look like a million bucks. Sam's got all the stuff right over here. And what I've got is my buddy Rick Rivera. He's from American Car Craft, and they got all kinds of great stuff. This is all stainless. It's all polished 304. And where do you make all this? We make this in Hudson, Florida. Me and a, a, a talented group of guys actually design, digitize, form, and produce this product. Show me some of the things you got for this Camaro. We have a, uh, a real nice door sole that we make for it. We have a lot of different stainless steel accessories that are going to just embellish the hood, the engine shroud, shock towers, the front vent. Now you see all this stuff's got a protective coating on it because it's trying to protect this nice finish. This is polished 304. Yep, it's a number eight finish and we apply the blue surface so that you can go ahead and install these things without goobering up with your fingerprints and stuff. And once they're in, you can just peel it and enjoy it. Now we're doing a Camaro today, but you make stuff for the Ford Raptor pickup truck, you make it for the Mustang, what else do you cover? Well, American Car Craft, is predominantly American cars, uh, Cor Chevy Corvette, uh, you know, uh, Ford Raptor, Viper, Prowler, Challenger, Charger. It's, a, it's quite a big list. Cool. Now, I see you got these little caps. Now, this happens to be a set of Corvette. Yeah, this is our patented design. That's a licensee six set, carbon fiber. They're available in a lot of different ways. The no. one we're putting on today on the Camaro is uh, actually a blue carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. uh, this is so that we can kind of color coordinate with uh, the rest of the parts we're putting. Got oil, oil fill, the radiator, windshield washer, brake fluid, and power steering. Really dresses it up. Now, you know, you got some nice stuff now. Look at, you got these Corvette door sills. This is gorgeous. Now, that's for a grand sport. Yeah, it's one of our premium sills, yes. You know, polished stainless, brush finished stainless, carbon fiber. Now, Dave's got a brand new grand sport. I would be a good guy if I bought him a set of these for his car, but that isn't going to happen. <laughs> what we need to do is, we got this ugly Camaro. I mean, the Camaro's pretty, but under the hood, you see all the mechanicals? We're going to cover it all up, make it look real good. Give me the first step. Well, I think the first thing that we're going to do is the engine shroud. Uh, it's one of the few parts that are available on the market that makes a dramatic difference. Very easy to install. We're gonna go through a little bit of prep work and peel and stick and turn that thing completely around. Let's get to work. You know, one of the key things about putting in all this engine dress up kit is a lot of it is put on with adhesive back pieces here. The key on that is you gotta have all the pieces extremely clean, right Rick? Yep, preparation is the key. What you're gonna do is get a clean paper towel with some household rubbing alcohol, and you're gonna rub this, make sure there's no contaminants on it, dirt, wax. Any that coating these like guys that. throw right. on there? Right. right. And after you do that, the, your kit comes with a little scotch pad. You're gonna scuff this surface up to increase the surface area. This is also a critical part. You wanna make sure that you're getting the most bond you possibly can. Once you've sanded that like that, just a little wipe again with some alcohol to remove that particle dust. Yep. And then you test and see how well you've done. The kit comes with a little piece of uh, uh, the same attachment tape that's used on the parts. So you want to see what kind of tack we've achieved here. So you can press that on and you can see that the, the yeah, tape sticks pretty, darn pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> now you can go in and, and ensure that you're going to get a permanent bond by using our adhesive promoters. Uh, this is a critical chemicals, a watery fluid, and here's a little sponge. Just get the sponge wet, and you swipe this down, just like so. You have let to let that, that dry. set for any time? Yeah, a few seconds. It kind of dries pretty instantly. Once you have that done, then you're ready to put your parts on. We'll go ahead and do this whole piece here that we're gonna work on, and then we can put all our parts on. folks. Well, now you can see how easy that is so far. We've got the engine covered, but we got a lot more we're going to be doing on here, so stick around. This edition of Motorhead Garage, presented by ARP, is being brought to you by VR12, Ultimate Cooling System Protection, and by Stage 8, the world's best locking fasteners. 
and by Hearst, America's number one shifter. And by Bruin Brake Cables, made in the USA, certified. Hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, as you can see, Rick and I have been working along in here. We've added a few more things under our hood. As you can see, we put on these covers around the shock tower. Rick is just completing that. And we also put in a radiator cover over here, so that really makes it start to come together. Now the next step, of course, is to go ahead and finish up with all the components that go around here. And we got something unique about that, how they're mounted, and that's always a problem. Rick, show them exactly what you did. Well, in order to get these pieces securely installed and without having to drill any holes, we've devised a, a way to take the stock bolt out of its location and install our bolt, which has a threaded screw. This is gonna be used to secure all our parts. That makes it a lot easier to go in. Let's go ahead and we'll get started on this. In the meantime, let's check out Sam and see what he's up to. Well, Dave's making a career under the hood. It's a good thing you got Rick Rivera helping him. I've got these nice door sill plates. Again, they're stainless. You got the SS logo, the blue carbon fiber look. Again, I put the adhesion promoter right on the original sill plate. These are peel and stick, so we'll peel these off. And again, this is just all beautiful polished stainless. Get it in position before you put it down, know exactly where it's gonna go. I'm gonna stick right over the other one. Hug that, put it down, that's there. Peel off your blue protective coating, and this is gonna look great. Now, you know, you've got a scuff area here in the door where you get out, your foot hits it. It's a great way to protect it. Again, polished stainless, blue insert, and it's got this little radius, and that goes right into, up against the speaker grill, Use your fingers to run along the bottom, make sure you get it level. And again, peel and stick. Put this right on and it's gonna look great. It really finishes the car off well. Try not to touch your adhesive with your fingers. Get it right where you want it. Make sure it's nice and level and it's gonna fit flat. Push it on and you're there. And the last little trim we have, this is really a neat piece. Little SS logo trim. That goes right on your outside rear view mirror. You don't need to have any adhesion promoted. Just wipe it down, get it clean, peel it off, and stick it, and it's gonna look great. How you doing up here, Davey? We've got a lot accomplished here. We've got this all on here. We got the chrome pieces on the shock towers, the piece covered here, and now we're putting on this front cover. It really looks good. Now the key on this is with these little screws, there's little slots down here. Now these little screws, you wanna put them all in hand tight or with a screwdriver, don't use a power tool on it. Get them all in loose before you tighten any of them down. And once you do that, then you're in business. And after you do that, then the key, nice thing about it is they offer a Velcro donut here and a little cap. What that does is you slide that right over the screw head, put your cap on it like so, and then this will really dress that up. Pretty neat stuff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this really nice license plate frame. Again, this is like a satin finish. It's got the blue carbon fiber look. The neat part is it's got these tabs that the plate will tuck into so you only have two screws holding it on. And then they supply you the screws to go in there, the little bolts, the quarter inch, quarter inch bolts. Then they have a nice cap that goes over it, pops over its chrome, finishes it off, and it looks great. Really does a nice job. You can see it up here in place. That way it looks terrific. Now we also have some trim it's gonna go on the trunk around your bow tie. And again, we're gonna clean this all up, make sure we get it in place, position it, play with it a little bit, so you know exactly where it's gonna be before you peel off your backing, and then you have the outline of the bow tie, so it really finishes it off well. It's gonna make a really nice piece. And then last but not least, they have a nice little SS cover for your fuel filler door. See how Davey's doing up front. Oh man, does that look cool. Oh folks. What do you think of that? There you have it. You saw what it looked like before we started. Now you can see what it looks like after we're done. And that was a pretty easy installation, Rick, I have to tell you. Now, how do you take good care of it? You're a meta glaze, so this is something that they have to keep this nicely polished look. All of our products are uh, lifetime guarantee from our company. Our SS logos and our Chevy logos, which are fully licensed by GM. As a matter of fact, all our products are licensed through the manufacturers. And uh, we're very proud of it. And we stand behind it. Yeah, you ought to be, man. It looks terrific. Well, we want to thank you for coming and bringing all your stuff here and helping us put this in. It really looks terrific. We'll see you next time here at Motorhead Garage.